All good? Man, always. Right, man. I'm proud always. of you, man. Thank you. All right, you did it the right way. Yeah, I got you. Be happy. Yeah, I right. am. I yeah, am. Family's Thank you. good? Yeah, it's Everybody straight. Good? It's straight. They happy. Good. They happy with my situation, so. Good. Good, good for you, man. Yeah, thank happy you. you too, thank right? you. I didn't know a lot about Melt when the Grizzlies traded for him. He'd been to a couple NBA teams, and then he missed training camp because he was dealing with a back injury, so we hadn't seen much of him then. But then once we got to see him move into the lineup, it was clear that he belongs in the NBA. Ooh. Come back for me, Josh, Josh. Yo, we got a rebound, come on, y'all. <laughs> Man, finally did something, huh? Grizzlies were a rough, rough road trip. Coming out of All-Star break, it definitely was a rough stretch for us, losing five games in a row. I think at the All-Star break, you know, the team had been playing so well going into the break. And then it's, it's a long time off by NBA standards to have a week off. And then to come back together and, and try and recapture that magic right away, I don't, I don't know if anyone thought that was going to happen, but to lose five straight was a little bit concerning. When they went on that five game losing streak, I was concerned. And I was concerned just because, okay, I don't want to believe that playoff hopes were just a pipe dream and now here's reality. The team lost their balance. You know, when you have some momentum and when you're young, uh, you, you need to keep playing. And I think the all-star break sort of broke up some of the momentum. It, it sort of left the team a little bit scattered and they, they, it took some time to come back together. It was just another reminder that this is a young team. Like this is not gonna be consistent throughout the season. It's a roller coaster. It's up and ups and downs, you know. Maybe we relaxed too much over the all-star break, you know, we thought, oh, we can be really good and stuff got out of out of our way. Oh yeah, let's just get better. Don't let everybody get embarrassed out there let's get together like Exactly, exactly, man. Come on. Let's have each other back, Let's just have each other back. Let's play for each other. Yeah, exactly. Come on. We were going to be tested the second half of the season, so I think our guys didn't look in the past, they looked in the present. The spirit of the group was phenomenal. It's easy to just put your head down and dwell in the past and, and wonder, you know, what is this going to be our new normal? Credit to them to say, no, that's not what it's going to be. They stuck together. That locker room continues to always remain strong. Never saw them come apart at the seams. You never saw guys in the locker room pointing fingers. You never saw the coach yanking a guy out of a game and embarrassing them in a situation like that. I know none of us are in the moral victories. I I wasn't worried at all. I was. <laughs> we got to just figure it out, you know. Like it isn't. It isn't something that we just sit there and worry about. We just we figure out what we need to do, and we're gonna have another game anyway. So let's go out there and just try again. Like we're not sitting there twiddling our fingers. So, no, nah, hell no, we're good. Tonight, you take on a Los Angeles Lakers team, top team in the Western Conference. Lakers come in on a seven-game winning streak. The Grizzlies had lost five in a row coming into that Lakers game. For a team that was trying to find its footing, trying to get headed the right way, heading into this postseason stretch where you're going to fight for a playoff berth, this Lakers game looked like a game we might have to win. Small margin of error against this team. Very small. Minuscule. Yeah, I'm about to say, no margin for error. The, the, the Grizzlies have to play an excellent basketball game if they're going to have a chance to win. I remember being on the set, and we got done with the pregame show, and I turned to Rob Fisher and I said, do you think they can keep it within 20? That's how down everybody was. The Lakers are a very good team, and, you know, we didn't have me or, or Jaron. High stakes game. You know, anytime you got LeBron James and Anthony Davis coming to town, I mean, you got to lock up. The Grizzlies knew, too, when you look down the line, as the standings were lining up, the Lakers were number one, the Grizzlies were right around eight. Potentially, this is a 1-8 playoff matchup. Let's try to show them what we can do, what we're capable of. Everybody started talking more about us, doubting us, so and we knew we had to turn it around. From the start, the Grizzlies players seemed to play like it was a playoff atmosphere. It was fun to watch them compete. The crowd that night was really into it. People were fired up. It was electric, and guys come off the bench and, and do stuff you didn't expect. One man down, another got to step up. Good block, blocked by Conchar. And Conchar battling for the rebound. And sets up Valentunas. John Conchar, sensational work. You know, it's really fun to see a, a teammate that's been on the bench kind of get in and then do well. Don, is, he's worked super hard, and to see him you know, play well versus pretty much the best team in the league was one of the most awesome things. It's through! 
John Conchar has brought these fans to their feet with his hustle plays, and then why not, for good measure, knock down a big three. We had to do it. We had to go and fight. We, we had to throw everything what we had at them. Grizzlies just played tougher. They played hungrier. Being able to come back home against one of the top teams in the league was definitely good for us, and we were able to come out with a win in front of our, our home crowd. Easily one of the top five most unlikely wins in Grizzlies history. They were on this losing streak, and they're playing against a Lakers team that's loaded up, right, waiting for them, and I still can't believe they won that game. It was a really special night, and I thought, you know, for a team, a, a young team, looking for something to build on and looking for some confidence going forward, that, that game was really important. That was the moment that everybody saw the kind of heart that they have, because that is the moment where you could have gotten more down on yourself than ever. You couldn't draw up a more ideal way to break a losing streak and get to feeling good about yourself than beating the Lakers. That was a wire-to-wire -wire win against the best team in the Western Conference. Multiple guys stepping up. I think it was just a huge team win, huge momentum builder, and kind of a, a culture tester for us, and, and we definitely weathered that storm very nicely.